Hi, in this video I want to show you how to put together the cardinal card, which is an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here's the card we're going to make. So you can see that it folds flat to put in an envelope, but folds up to give you kind of a little dimensional. It only has one insert, so it's just it's a simpler card to make if you like box cards. Um, it's something that, it's a modified card from the, that I did for uh, my mother-in-law last year, so I ne never got around to putting it out. Um, so it, we have these panels, just so you know, the, these are like the printed panels. So I decided to make it the same color as the card, even though in the file those are different colors if you wanted to put a pattern in the back, so that those are the ones I embossed. And then we have the trees, and then the, uh, here's a um, Happy Holidays and a Merry Christmas, so there's a print and cut file uh, option in your extra stuff folder that you can use for that. And I have dogs growling and barking behind me. So if you do hear a little barking, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm in a secondary location I'm normally not filming out of, so it's kind of hard because there's a lot of dogs. So we have these, and we also have a blank one included with the file. So in the in the default file, there's a blank one, and you can use the tools in your software to create your own um, little uh, sentiment up here, or you could just omit it and just keep it the green, like the green part, and then put a sentiment here. So it's up to you. Um, what you want to do, but we're going to use the Happy Holidays on the card that we're making. And then I'm going to put that aside, and then here's the card pieces and the pieces for the cardinal. So because it was so small, there's a little white piece and a black piece for the eye. Um, some might prefer to do just a like a little enamel dot, which I would highly recommend, but I wanted to put something in the file. So in order for me to do something that small, I don't have a fine tip applicator right now. So I'm going to move that up a little bit so you can see this little white background is just so I can, it's the middle of this, it's just so I wouldn't lose the, the pieces. So we're going to put together the, the cardinal. So we're going to go ahead and I already, I actually inked the edges of these black so they'll stand out a little bit. So the way it goes is like this, so we'll do the red pieces first. And I'm using art glitter glue. This is just going to line up, see this little tail feather there, little feather? That's going to line up like that, and then I'm just going to line it up on the edge there. And then this. So if you want to do a print and cut, there's also a layered version of this if you prefer just not to do all this, but I like the layered look. Those of us that do paper crafts, this kind of, kind of gives it dimension. And then this goes right here. So right there. And then we're going to put this. So we're going to first put on the little beak. So we're going to just put a dot of glue, just really light glue. A little bit too heavy. I'm not worried about it going a little bit further than the beak because we have that black piece. So the beak will only go on one way. I just have to make sure I have it the correct way. So I'm going to reach, I'm going to pick it up just so it goes around the edges. And then we'll take this little black piece and you can, I'm just going to glue right in the middle of it and not too really light on the edge so it doesn't leak down the sides. So I'm going to use my finger to spread it a little bit. But I'm gonna I'm just add a little towel on the side. So now I'm kind of getting out of view. So let me get rid of here's the eye. I won't lose that eye. I'm gonna move that white piece. And we're gonna go like this. This is just gonna wrap right around this. You see how that goes? Just like that. And then the last part is the eye. So because I don't have a fine tip applicator with me right now, 
I'm just going to use the tip of a pen. So a pen. I, I had enough to get by, but I'm going to take a little bit of glue on the tip of a pen. I'm going to add it to the back of this little eyeball. And then place it. So I know this is not the best way to do it. But there you go. And sorry about that. I have a dog barking behind me. They're in a different place too, so... <laughs> We're all working with it. And if you wonder, I'm just temporarily gone um, to uh, be with family, so... in another state. So, but I'm... It, it is during COVID, so we're social distancing, um, but we had to come for uh, my mother-in-law, so anyways, TMI, but too much information, but just wanted to let you know that's why things aren't as normal on our videos. So what we want to do is fold it like this, but I'm going to fold it inward here. So you can see how that folds like that. Same thing on the other side. So when we fold, it's going to be like that. So we have a couple more things to layer, but I wanted to show you how that folded. And then let's go ahead and just layer these so they're ready too. So these are the tree piece parts. We're going to put these together. So it's just going to go like this. The same thing the other one. So when we glue, and even though I don't have a fine tip applicator, I'm just going to be careful because this has a pretty good tip on it. I'm just going to go and just make sure that I don't get too close to the, the openings with the glue. And then we can just go ahead and line it up. So I'm just going to line it up. It helps to do it just right there. And then I'll just kind of go all the way up and if it's off it's it it's going to be just a smidgen off and that's okay because it kind of that edge kind of gives it a little bit more dimension so if you're not it kind of gives it more of a dimensional kind of like a little like edging kind of works so anyways i'm not coming across the way i want to then we're going to add this one to the insert and i'm getting a lot of glue on my fingertips for some reason So we're just going to match it up to the insert, same way. And you can see that I didn't, I didn't want to put the bird on here because I thought somebody might want to use it differently. So I could have put the bird shape to help you, but you see how it's down like that? We want it to be kind of down where it's at right now, there because of the location of this. So you want to go a little bit further down. So this black would be slightly above this edge here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to angle it back a little bit. Just going to add a little glue there and a little bit glue there. You could do the whole thing if it's covering most of it. It almost covers all of it. So if you want to pencil mark it, you can too. I mean, that's up to you. So you can see kind of how I have it here. Again, I didn't want to uh, put a... I could have put a bird shape to help you line it up, uh, but I wanted, just in case somebody wanted to use this for something different, I didn't want to force you to use it for something else, because I think when you buy a file, you should be able to use it for multiple purposes. So this, just be careful when you put it down. Um, I'm going to just anchor it at the bottom. So this goes to the bottom, and then you can just add glue carefully in between the openings to uh, attach the rest of it. I know it's kind of a pain, but it was a nice 
I like the intricate look of it. So I wanted the holes and everything to give it more of a dimensional feel and get the multicolor that looked like birch. I really like the the way this came out. But it's not necessarily the easiest thing to glue. So I'm just lightly adding glue to areas. And this might be a case where for definitely a fine tip applicator would work. Um, but the other thing that would work well is either using your fingers or a uh, like a paintbrush to brush it on the back lightly. So I'm going to finish gluing this and then we'll go on to the next step. So we got those two done. So this is the insert and this is a piece that will go in the back. So I'll put those up there. Let's go ahead and put the panels on the card and this. So this panel goes on the front. Of this piece. It's actually a rather quick card to put together. We're just going to center it. Throw it up there. And then we're just going to go ahead. This is the same exact shot shape as the top. The offset is the actual panel. And then this is offset. Excuse me. I have to tickle my throat. I'm going to go ahead and center this. Again, you, there's a blank one in there if you don't want to do a printing cut like this. You can change the colors. I have a video out there that tells you how to use print and cut for uh, silhouette and um, a Cricut design space. Um, there's other machines that can do that. Then you can do that. I don't think scan and cut you can do that. So there's a blank tag if you want to write on it with your own font. You just have to know how to curve the words, which Silhouette Design Studio and um, I don't know about scan and cut canvas workspace, but Silhouette Studio, you can do that. And Design Space now. So we'll put that there. So these just center on each side. So once we have it folded the way we want, we can go ahead and put these panels down. So I just used an embossing folder that is a swirls embossing folder. It's one of my go-to's. I like the swirls, the basic swirls for a background. And then now we have the center one. And this just goes right in the center on the bottom. So we're just going to line this up. I know I have it too far down here. Just putting a light coat of glue. I'm not going to worry too much about you can put a little bit here and there to let it stick. And it's not quite the same width at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. It's just a background effect. Once I get the bottom secure, just flip down the, the top parts pieces. And then we'll center this. So they're supposed to fit exactly by the, t the height, by the way. It's just I didn't put it in the very bottom. But you won't see the top anyways. That's the great thing is even if you get it off a little bit, you're not going to see it because of this, this little thing on the top when it's open. You have to look like that to see it. 
And then to put the insert in, we want to fold those back, those tabs back like that. And we can go, we don't need to go all the way, but the end of this, the end of this tab can match up to about almost to the fold line. You really don't, it's really not that imperative. We just want a little gap to give it dimension. So I'm going to match it up. You can see that. I'm just going to flatten it. I want it to be straight, so I'm just kind of using this, this other side as the guideline because we're going to fold it over and glue it on the other side. So all we're going to do is fold it over after it's glued. And this is the easiest way to do it right here. Just fold it over like that. That makes sense. So just up to the tab, we're going to have glue on the tab. And put a little bit too much. So you can see it's lined up with the bottom. I'm just going to fold this over just like this. I'm going to hold it in place to get it secured. So you don't want to pull it up quite yet. So I'm just going to gently open it right now because it's not quite dry. So there's that effect and you have that depth in the back. So while it's down like this, this is when we can glue this. So when you glue this down, we're only going to glue where it's touching. So you can see you can go up to like right here, right here underneath, and then you can glue underneath there, and then um, just on these sides. So you can say no further than maybe the middle of the H and then uh, the Y. So I mean you, you should just kind of visually have to know how far you can glue. So once you know the bottom, you can do the top. So I'm just going to do that. It doesn't require it to be all entirely glued. We just want it to be attached. But we don't want to get too far in because if we get too far in, we're going to glue on the places we don't want to glue. So I'll match it up on the left-hand side first. And then place it down. So it should fit perfectly. Then just double click. You can double check there's no glue. You can always reach inside there to make sure there's no glue. But as long as you kind of, you can pencil mark it. And there it is. Folds flat to fit into an A2 card. I mean envelope, excuse me, and then it can sit upright to display. In fact, I'm honored that my um, mother-in-law still has her card on display from last year, so she was the inspiration for this card. Um, but it has gone through a little iteration and refinement because my first designs are never the perfect the way I want them to be. So anyways, here's two different versions. I hope you like this design. And like I said, this is an easy card to make. The only exception, like I said, is the eye. And you could always substitute rather than cut out the eye parts and um, you could put like a little enamel dot or something like that, or just a pen dot. That's up to you. It's just a matter if you can see it because it's on black or you can just make that maybe brown. That's, that's another thing is you can always make that brown instead of black. So thank you for watching and until next time.